guys, the real question is, how important are stats when determining who the greatest player is? Do you guys take that really into account, or do you think that there's more to it than just stats? I definitely think there's more to it than just stats. Like, a lot of people, when you compare somebody to uh, Michael Jordan, they're like, yeah, but this guy has better stats. But no one had, like, no – Michael Jordan was the best all-around basketball player. He had the mentality, he had the drive, he had the motivation, but he also had the stats to go along with it. He could do whatever he needed to do to win games. And I don't see that from certain players that play nowadays. Talk to me, Emin. Talk to me. I'll talk to you. Tell me what you want to hear. <laughs> talk to him, because all these, like you say, they all Michael Jordan. He didn't have the stats, the stats. But he had the wins, the championships. All them stats people be racking up nowadays, and you win, what, a regular season game? That's what I'm saying. Like, people talk about – I'm going I'm to talk, talk about this because I love to talk about this. People talk about James Harden is the greatest shooter of all time because he scores so many points. And I'm like, he's not really that great of a basketball player. Have you seen the man try to play defense? Okay, so – Ball go by. I just I, – I, one person I want to specifically talk about, James Harden is one of those people that definitely, you know, scores or whatever, and he's not the best player or whatever. He puts a lot of points on the score. He's not, board. like, into the game. But it, all that stuff he does never works when he gets to the playoffs. And one person Absolutely. that said it back then was Kobe Bryant. That stuff ain't going to work in the playoffs. No, yeah. and it didn't. They lost again when he tried the same thing. But one particular, one particular person, excuse me, that – they say, oh, he got all the stats, but he loses. LeBron. I don't hate LeBron, but the fans just seem to always like to say, hey, here's LeBron's stats, and here's Michael Jordan's. Absolutely. It is. But the thing is, who's holding the Larry O'Brien trophy at the end of the day? Yeah, when it comes when it comes down to it, like, we could see in this documentary, and, like, you know, we weren't born, so this is probably, like, my best, like, source – towards basketball at that point when Michael Jordan was playing for stats they didn't win championships you know like when he was playing to put up points when he was playing to get defensive player of the year rookie of the year they didn't win championships when he decided to be a team player and to worry more about getting a ring at the end that's when he became a great all-around basketball player to begin with even better than he already was but that's when he also started to win too and I think also when it comes to the conversation of the greatest player ever, you take into more consideration than stats because, you know, to, and for me personally, I, I take on the court, off the court, your mentality, your passion for the game all into consideration because when it comes to being the greatest player, to me it's who can people look up to the most. And so to me that's Michael Jordan because he plays for passion. He only played when he was passionate about it. He played uh, – people have said that he plays like – because he plays great because there's somebody there that he's known he knows there's somebody in in the stadium that has never seen him play before and like to me that's those are the things that make Michael Jordan so great he played right into the to the idea of making basketball a culture making it a global a global phenomenon he played right into all that stuff when he needed to and so to me he's the greatest not only because of his on the court stats but all the other stuff that goes into it as well I, I, I don't even really think necessarily like you're saying, uh, Sarah. It's not. It's not the stats, really. I'm sorry, but it's not the stats. It's what he has done all around. Right. You hear the excuse nowadays that a certain player has no help. Well, if you look at it, I mean, who were really the people Michael Jordan played with? What B.J. Armstrong was an All Star. Scotty was an All Star. Rodman is Rodman. But the thing is. He held his teammates to so much accountability and pushed them to be great. He never pushed his teammates out if they didn't do good one year and be like, oh, yes. no, bye. There you go. We, That's it right there. I then go and get, hey, let me go join Charles Barkley and Hakeem. Don't – I right, let me let me go to play with Kyrie and Kevin Love. Hey, let me go play with – uh, and then the one year – where you get D Wade, D Rose, all them players on the team, you trade them all out, and all of a sudden you don't have help. No, Michael stayed with his team. He worked out with them, and he asked him to do things that he was doing so to make them better players. So don't 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 come up with the excuse that hey, I don't have help. Oh, your your fans say he doesn't have help. No, stay with your team, build with your team. Eventually, you work probably work out win. your team, all that stuff. 
Michael stayed and he he was a leader. He led his team. He didn't quit on them. He didn't get them traded for one player, trade the whole team for one player. Like, man, no. That's why one person struggles with winning championships and just racks up all the stats for no reason. Well, well, my thing is, I hear a lot of people talking about uh, LeBron loses games for his team. And my whole thing is, especially bringing back, I've seen people bring back up the 2014 series. And my thing is, Miami did not lose that game. San Antonio rightfully beat Miami. Like, San Antonio didn't just like, or Miami didn't just give y'all that win. Like, San Antonio rightfully won that game because, it, like like you said, they stayed with one team. They built up the team. They had a terrible series in 2013. They had that horrific loss that they didn't want. And they built and they worked and they did exactly what they needed to to make sure that didn't happen again in 2014. And that's exactly what Michael and the Bulls did. I mean, it just – if you had to compare the two, the team I could see uh, similarly to what the Bulls had – was San Antonio at the time. And if you put the two together, San Antonio came back on top because they had that motivation. They had that drive to make sure that never happened again. No matter who LeBron was. They with their players. <laughs> yes. So this conversation became less about an individual and more about a team. How important do you think that is towards building, you know, super teams like, you know, the Bulls in the 90s, and then we talk about Golden State nowadays. We, I mean, we've watched this super team – come up and, and start playing how important do you think that is in, in making great players and these stats that we talk about well my thing is a lot of people give Kevin Durant crap because he wanted to go somewhere where he wanted to win a ring my thing is Kevin Durant is a fantastic basketball player he does what he needs to do to get the shots in to get the shots down I mean he is he's such a good pure shooter and yeah, maybe he probably could have gone somewhere where he would build up a team, but he tried that at Oklahoma City and everybody dipped. And you had Westbrook basically try to pick up the pieces himself. But like, I think there's a difference between working hard and building up something and winning a championship than building a team together and winning a championship. And I think those moments are more important because those that's years of hard work going towards uh, – sacrifice and things like that and you're, you're getting those results that you wanted as opposed to putting a whole bunch of money towards people to come together and win a game I would say and with these great teams the night there's so much similarities between the two it's like okay the year Jordan came back they lost to Orlando he wanted to get better his teammates got better they went and they win all these games and do the 72 and 10. Golden State, they actually had the 73 and 19. They lose in the finals, sadly. But they come, they know, okay, they they work with their team, but they they're, they're missing something. And they bring in a guy like Kevin Durant and come and they they flat out kill. And the thing about those two teams, and we say who's greater, the similarities is. It wasn't no one individual hire. Of course, you had your Kevin Durant, Steph, and you had Jordan and Scotty, but those guys played team ball. Everybody was getting a piece of the pot every game, you know, just playing terrific basketball. And I think that's what made those guys win those championships. Golden State didn't get the, the three-peat, for, unfortunately, because of, you know, the injuries at the end of the, end of the road. But – I mean, you know, those two teams are just so similar. If you want to say, I really can't necessarily pick who's a better team. Uh, I feel like you got to say Jordan and them because they got the job done three years in a row. But it's, it's definitely a tight race, and the similarities between the two are definitely kind of the same. Well, how important do you think that ring ring count is when it comes to stuff like this? Like, is that your only argument to say that the Bulls are better is because they got the three-peat? Or do you think that there is more stuff to be taken into consideration, like the injury, injuries and, like, the other stuff that, you know, comes into, into factor? I mean, it, it kind of, for me, it kind of just depends on the mentality. I definitely do think it's important because that's, that's your whole goal when you're playing basketball is to win a title. And, like, the hats in the documentary said, ain't nothing without a ring. Like, I mean, that's basically what you work everything towards. So it it kind of doesn't help your case when you can't get the job done. 
this that's like the Rockets. People say the Rockets are a really good team. However, they can't win championships. So, I mean, how great of a team are you if you can't get the job done? It goes for a player, too. No matter how many times you go in a row. So my two takeaways from this so far are rings are important and LeBron gets compared to Thanos and he gets people fired. He makes people leave. Michael Jordan hated Jerry Krause and he never got him fired. So, I mean, that, if that's what we're going off of, that's, that's my, that's my main takeaways from this so far. I mean, look at it, y'all. I mean, that's how I pretty much went. Like, yeah, you know, Hey, tell me when somebody, a certain player, I'm not going to name any names, but tell me when a certain player plays with the same team and one or two players leave because that's totally normal. And it just stays with the same I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> but thank you guys, and thank you for watching LUTV Sports, where we keep you in the game for every game. To see more content from LUTV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.